Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. You would like a personal reading? You can get your personal reading now for 50% off. The link is in the description. And let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, number one. Welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website. The link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the card that represents the first chakra. Now, let me just point out the first chakra. This is the energy of the root chakra, and it supports your sense of safety in a physical world and reminds you to enjoy your physical body. So as it does relate to this energy coming through and that person on your mind, so their exact feelings has something to do with like your ascendant sign, your rising sign, which represents the first house as well. With this energy, this is someone that is definitely like very attractive to you or you guys have a or have had a mutual physical attraction for each other. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Someone that you consider yourself to be very close with as well. Let's get more. This is judgment. So with the judgment card, yes, I can definitely see there's something to do with acceptance and awakening an assessment here with the judgment card. So with the judgment card coming through and this having to do with assessment or awakening to some sort of like understanding a wake up call in the relationship connection, um, I feel like this person feels like they are definitely wanting you to accept them the way that they are. And you feel like this can go both ways where they can accept you the way that they are and, um, you can accept them the way that they are, and they should accept you the way that you are as well. So it's kind of like a tug of war in energy right now. Also here with the judgment card, I can definitely see there was a wake-up call in this relationship. And there's like a final decision that has to be made on your part as it does relate to the connection with this person. You you're, You have to make a final decision. So let's get more insight. Just being near you is intoxicating. So I love this message coming out because this is a strong message about the attraction and about the physical attraction that this person has for you. So this is someone that does think about you all the time, loves your energy, loves to be near you, wants to be closer to you as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the stone. Look at the stone. So I feel like this is how you have been um, relating to this person. This is how they see you now. It's like the gray rock. And the gray rock is when you are in a vibrational energy where you don't want to be affected too much by this person. You don't want them to be able to regulate your emotions, meaning make you feel happy or make you feel sad. So you go into like this gray rock mode and it's kind of a mode that um, where you feel indifferent to this person's energy. And you just, because this person can be triggering, they can be frustrating, but you have pulled away your attention somewhat of, from this person. And this is how they see you now as being like indifferent, nonchalant, or like being unbothered with them. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. And what is the energy coming through? And so you have here hero. 
And so with the hero energy, this is a passion for a journey of personal empowerment. So they feel like, yes, you've pulled back your energy. You're not in this mood or in this space for like just being more to them. You're, you're in a space of giving more to yourself, like self-care, taking care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. You're protecting your energy and it, it's self-empowerment is what's going on here, but they feel like you're ignoring them on purpose. But with you, it's like you don't want to be drained. You don't want to give more than what you are receiving because then it, the scales are, are, are tipped. The scales are not balanced. And so that's a relationship that breeds resentment. And that is what you're trying not to do. You're trying not to resent this person, but this person does feel like you could resent, resent them in some way. You have seduction. So with the seduction card coming through, this is about attraction. Oh, and that just being near you is intoxicating. So this is a very strong confirmation with that. Um, it's about dating, hooking up, temptation. Temptation is strong here. And there's also like this third party interference, some sort of third party interference coming through with this energy. And this third party, this other, this person on your mind is not into this third party like they are into you, but this third party interference is definitely coming through here clear. So let's get more insight. And what is the energy coming through? And you have here the emperor. So with the emperor, this is about strategic moves. Okay, this is about being strategic. The emperor is... This person feels, you know, they see, they respect you a lot. Um, I feel like that this person wants you to allow them to lead the relationship. And they're going to be strategic. They're very strategic with their planning, their thought process. So be very conscious of this because um, they can pull back their attention as well. And it's called ghosting. When they do it, they pull back because they want you to come towards them even more. They want you to be there for them even more when they start to pull back their attention. So that's the tr strategic pattern that they use. Whereas when you pull back your attention, you're doing it because you're trying to protect your energy. I'm getting a father figure that's coming through here in this reading. Also, this person is planning planning something, you know, planning to um, contact you, to say something to you, to give you a different perspective so that you can see them in a different way. Because right now you ju you're judging them based on their actions and things that they have shown you. So you're, you're accurate for really analyzing this person the way that you do, but they are going to come to you with something different so that you can have a new perspective on them. Number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. Please leave a comment below if it does. I love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two. Welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment, click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here you're naturally drawn to your card, the third chakra. Let me point out that the third chakra, that's the energy of the solar plexus chakra that helps you to realize who you are and who you want to be. And so that you can set a course toward your goals. And so what I'm picking up here uh, is a clear message from you it, and from spirit and has how it relates to this person on your mind is that this person feels like you're very focused on your goals now. So you're not giving them too much attention. Um, you feel like you've wasted a lot of time with 
uh, giving your attention to this person or to people in general. So this person is feeling a bit left out, a bit lost. They Their focus is off and their focus is only on what you are thinking and what you are doing. Um, the solar plexus chakra is creative energy. It is wand energy. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of this person on your mind. So let's get more insight. You have here the world. See, this is about travel, success, co the career. So this is a very strong confirmation. This person is concerned that you're going to travel somewhere. And if you do travel somewhere, they may not get to connect with you the way that they really want to connect with you. I feel like this person misses you a lot. This is not a relationship that you are currently in. This person misses you so much. They want to be reunite with you, travel close to you. They want to know what is going on in your world specifically. Who are you dating? Who are you connecting with? But I feel like this person took you for granted in some ways. And so you, you know, you limited their access to you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Keys on a ring. So with keys on a ring coming through, this is a strong, a strong message coming through that this person feels like you have many options. You don't have to settle for them. They know that. They think about the options that you may have, wondering if you have met someone better than them, or will you be meeting someone better than them? This is about dating decisions. All right. I feel like this person, um, has had like one night stands and they regret having one night stands. They feel like there's no value in a one night stand. Although they may boast or feel like macho to some degree that one night stands are perfect, but no, deep down inside, they hate one night stands. So that's what's coming through really quick here. And they, they feel like you're going to make a decision about, you know, their access to you. And, and they're just afraid that you're going to cut them off completely. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So see, yeah, this is a, this person is feeling lost and regret. So I'm getting like some emotional energy, water, water energy. You got Scorpio, Cancers, and Pisces coming through. So they're feeling lost and regret grief over their actions, something they said to you, or even something that they did to you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The shapeshifter. Ooh. Yeah, with the shapeshifter. I love the shapeshifter coming out because this does represent what they're feeling right now, some sort of upheaval, some sort of inner discord over the miscommunication, over the disconnection between you two. So they're feeling like lost, you know, and they know that something happened in this relationship, sort of like tower energy, that unwanted change, some sort of rule, some sort of upheaval, some disgrace took place. Even there could have been some, this person taking advantage of you being dishonest, betraying you, and that is what they're thinking about. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy coming through? And you have here the beggar energy. So with the beggar, the beggar, this confronts empowerment here at the level of physical survival. While awakening the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. So this is a clear message coming through that spirit is aware that you are facing some challenges right now. You're facing some challenges. And I feel like your challenges have to do with your career and your finances. And there's a clear message coming through that um, you are facing these challenges because, you know, you're, you are... You are on a path of a breakthrough, so stay strong. Things are happening for you, and the reason you are facing these challenges is to, so you to for you to align with your humility, to be humble, um, and to have compassion and align with your self esteem. And that self esteem allows you be to be on a path of self mastery, which is self courage, self assurance, self love, and self respect. 
I feel like this person on your mind um, is a person that depended on you so much to the point where they drained you and has a dependence on others um, to the exclusion of effort, to the exclusion of like not even trying to do something for themselves. They'll do the bare minimum, but that's basically it. And so that's what is happening here. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the Ace of Wands. I love the Ace of Wands coming through for you because this is a clear message that there's a new project that's coming through. Okay, and this new project is going to allow you to get out of debt. It's going to allow you to be in a clear path. You know how to utilize your finances now. And I feel like this has something to do with this person as well. And your finances, this person could be the type of person that does take advantage, you know, of those with, you know, good financial essence. So, but here with you with the Ace of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are significant. There is a new project, you know. I feel like also this person, you inspire them. You inspire this person low-key with your creativity, your tenacity, the way that you move, the way that you keep your head up. You know, you don't go asking people for help, calling people and crying and stuff like that. You just cry to source and that's perfectly okay. And also, if you feel like you do need to reach out to someone, reach out to someone, even if it's a stranger, because it allows you to get things off of your chest. But don't worry. The universe is conspiring in your favor. I definitely can feel high vibrations around you. I can feel that you're guided, you are loved, and you are protected. So beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number three. Welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the sixth chakra. And with the sixth chakra being your card of choice, this is the energy of the third eye chakra, which supports your inner sight and your intuitive abilities. Let me point out that the intuition is ruled by the moon. The moon does rule over the mother. So the mother is significant as it does relate to you and that person on your mind. The moon rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. I feel like this person does have some secrets because the moon does represent um, secrets and things that are hidden. You know what I'm saying? But spirit is encouraging you to trust yourself and trust your intuition. This person feels like you do have great intuition. And when they you know, have to contact you or relate with you, or even when they think about you, they know that you don't believe everything that they are saying or expressing to you. So they know that you are intuitively intelligent and you can spot when they are lying or when they are telling the truth. Let's get more insight. And this is person on your mind. What is the energy? This is the creator. Ooh. See, with the creator, this is about you putting your foot down, allowing what you want to take place, and not allowing what you don't. They know that you have the creative ability to access and do whatever it is that you want. You can have and be whatever you want. They low-key are inspired by your creativeness. They actually, I feel like this person mirrors you in some ways, like some of you, the way that you speak, your word, your phrasing, some things that they have picked up from you is some things that they now use. And I feel like they use those things on their social media as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Just being near you is intoxicating. So with this energy coming through of just being near you is intoxicating, I can definitely feel this person is emotionally invested heavily thinking about you, you know, um, wants to reach out to you, wants to 
text you, wanting you to call them, to just hear your voice is something that they really want. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the hedonist. Well, so with the hedonist energy, this inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life and celebrate the beauty in yourself. There's a clear message coming through that um, you're the type of person that you want the best. And this person feels this. You want the best and you will not settle for less. This person feels like you have raised your standards. They don't feel like you are going to put up <laughs> with the mediocrity that they have been giving you. They feel like the time has come where you're going to move on. Yes. I feel like this person could also, you know, pursue pleasures to the detriment of their health and indulges in the expense of others. They could do things that could really harm them in the long run because they're wanting so much pleasure out of it. This is a part of their personality and characteristic traits. And you have been telling this person to stop doing certain things that they find enjoyable because it's not helpful to them. And they ignore you on that energy. They know that you're correct when you say, hey, you shouldn't do that because it's hurting you or it's not helpful. They know that you are correct, but they ignore you. You have here the Eight of Wands. So with the Eight of Wands energy, this is fire, creativity, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I love the Eight of Wands showing up because it's a nice correlation with the creator energy. So with the Eight of Wands, this is a clear message that there's a speedy action, a quick change, and like news is going to arrive for you very quickly. Something to do with your career and your goals, something you've been working on. Maybe you applied for a job, a different career or something like that. News is going to arrive for you very quickly. And also what I'm picking up is that I feel like this person feels like like you've changed on them very quickly as well. So, you know, your behavior has changed. You have pulled back your energy really fast. And they're wondering like, what happened? They didn't, they're saying, I didn't do anything. <laughs> what happened? Stabbed in the back. So with the stabbed in the back energy, this is about heartbreak and pain, a separation, deception. And a shocking attack. And this is what they are thinking about. I feel like this person regrets something they said or something that they did. They are in full regret mode. Let's get more insight. And you have here the offering. So with the offering energy, I feel like this person definitely is going to try to contact you to offer you something so that you can change your view or change your perspective on them so that you can see them in a different light so that you can see the good in them spirit is encouraging you to forgive this person because forgiveness is of a high vibration and it frees you because you have a journey here you have a creative you have creative goals here you have creative dreams you have things that you want to do and this energy with this person has been frustrating. It has been triggering. And so by you offering that forgiveness to this person, which is really what they want, um, it allows you to be free, to fly, to soar, to connect with that greater version of who you are and to offer and to allow prosperity and abundance to come into your life. And so beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.